Now, the research on finding a cure for COVID-19 continues across the world. A team of doctors, meanwhile, in the southern Indian city of Bengaluru, seem to have made a significant headway. Dr. Vishal Rao, a renowned oncologist who is a member of the consultative group of principal scientific advisors to the government of India, is working on a Syotkin anti-COVID therapy. The Karnataka government has also approached the Union Health Ministry asking for the research to be reviewed. We on World is once Nishita Virendra spoke to Dr. Vishal Rao about the principle behind this treatment approach. Take a look. Dr. Vishal Rao, first of all, this cytokine-mediated anti-COVID therapy, how does it really work? What is uh, the principle behind this treatment approach? How does it fight co coronavirus? So, um, uh, too early for us to say that it can fight coronavirus, but what we know from the initial hypothesis, what we generated in our lab was that it is able to bridge the immune system. Now, I would like to just explain this a little further, just to kind of give clarity to this. In this particular aspect, what we did as a research team was they were able to take human cells from a healthy individual's blood. Now, they have something called as a buffy coat, which you usually throw out. Using that, we were able to activate some of the thymic related specific cells of the thymus in these healthy active individuals, isolate them and then create a special concoction out of it in certain laboratory specialized techniques that we have, which we have currently uh, presented uh, for publication and it's under review in some of the international journals. Okay. We've submitted about nine papers till now mm -hmm. on various aspects on COVID where we were evaluating if this particular concoction, which has been derived from healthy individuals from activated immune system, could bridge the immune system between the immediate and the late immunity okay. that has to be developed. So to what uh, extent has the research been conducted? At what stage are we in? By when will it be available for treatment? So we are constantly in uh, touch with the, with, the, uh, with the drug controller and the FDA authorities of India. We've also got a lot of interest from other countries that we have reached out to and we are discussing with them on options on collaborations because today uh, the, the world has become a global village because of the COVID virus and so we are in touch with all our uh, scientific teams from across the world. But, but by when can we expect it? So we've now started with the animal experiments which we have, which we have given and submitted some interim reports. Mm -hmm. We have some very promising results. And with this, we believe that we are ready for some clinical studies in the next coming days. Uh, so also, what aspects of the Indian population are you considering during this research? So what we know from our current hypothesis is that patients who are very critically ill, that is, who are on ventilators, are not eligible for this. Okay. Now, that comprises 2% of the entire group. 2 to 3% of the entire group are going to be very, very morbid up to 26% of them we may be in the ICU at some point in time who are again not the best candidates for this. It is patients who may go to the ICU that you are going to prevent them from going to the ICU are ideal candidates for this is what we assume right now.